Well, indeed, I was also I'm quite surprised to see one. It's probably this warmer weather that we've got. But there you can see peering through the guari leaves is a little flat neck chameleon. And it's got its beady eye on us, watching us as we're coming past. And it's all hunched up and sort of in a small little rounded ball as I'm sure it's trying to stay warm and it's not in the best place it's right on the edge of the tr sort of treehouse dam which means that it's going to get quite cold here tonight and I can't tell you how difficult it is to actually see that the infrared makes it look a lot easier than it actually is what we'll do just now at the sort of end of this is I'll go back out and we'll turn the infrared out and turn the infrared off and put the torch on it and you'll be able to actually see or the spotlight should I say and you'll be able to see how well that little creature blends in it and it always amazes me how this infrared is able to pull out the sort of detail on the chameleons and it makes it really a lot easier to actually see where well, you can see now if you come out a little bit it's really not that easy and I can tell you when you've got a light on it all those tones and colors are perfectly matched and it took us a while to actually get it onto the camera itself but what you can see there is look at how the eyes are moving so each eye moves independently of the of its of the other one and you'll find that one is watching us the other one will go and look around and it's just sitting in wait for any insects that will be coming off the dam in terms of a place to hunt this is a great place to be because there'll be little mayflies and all kinds of little hatching insects that are going to come off the surface of the water and are going to drift very close to where this chameleon is and from there that chameleon will then be able to shoot out that long adhesive tongue and grab whatever it needs to be able to feed on So, Pink Floyd, you say this is the cutest little thing. Well, I couldn't agree more. They are very cute little guys, and particularly when they're cold like this and they're all hunched up. And you always feel bad for them. If you had to touch that chameleon now, it would be very cold to the touch. Being a cold-blooded animal, they really suffer when we start to get into this sort of colder temperatures. But there you can see. Imagine trying to spot that now while you're driving. It's not that easy. Luckily for us, they do reflect a little bit of light. Now, I'm going to turn on the light so that's I can show you what it looks like in color, in color, and you can see how well this infrared works. So if you go out a bit, Craig, but there we go. Now try and spot that. It is almost impossible in that leaf. So you can see how well a chameleon actually blends in and why so many of its prey items are sort of caught unsuspecting of what imminent danger they're in when they sort of come around close to these trees itself. It's pretty incredible, but there he is just in there. Right, now I don't want to blind our chameleon or make it in any way sort of hurt its eyes, so I'm going to turn off our light and we're going to carry on and see if we can't find Mr. Last Minute Leopard himself and see if he's not somewhere around here. This is where I was hoping he would be, just in front of us.